Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Friday, July 15th, 2022. The tarot card for today is the Eight of Pentacles. I love that it's here. Now, I don't even know who the artist is on this deck, but the name of the deck is the Tarot of 78 Doors, and I think I first discovered this deck back around the year 2000, 2001 somewhere in there and for those of you who are too young to remember you know things were much different then there were no laptops there were no cell phones um but there were computers and home computers were available and there was internet so i get on the internet and i you know don't know anything about what tarot cards are available in the store and i found a website that was talking about this deck and i thought well, this is really cool they're showing me what the deck looks like okay that has never happened before you guys are, are spoiled these days you go online you can find anything right that was not the case before so let me tell you i hightailed my butt out to the borders and they had them all locked up behind the customer service counter by the by the checkout so i had to ask for it but i was able to get it all right and i have actually have two copies of it now so i know i've digressed and gone on but this was a deck i really really liked it was maybe a little bit ahead of its time then okay compared to the artwork we see today it's not uh, maybe what you would think of but it really has some good images that are available anyway this is a great card all right getting down to details getting them hammered out i mean i'm like i love this this is a time to just be hyper focused and really getting everything you know you don't want to miss anything let's put it that way it's very important and today's aquarius moon will be square uranus which could bring something unpleasant but it will conjunct saturn and I like that, all right, because wherever you've been having, I want to say, difficulties, that's where you're going to be able to apply this Eight of Pentacles, where you need to be putting in the work, all right, whatever the Aquarius energy means for you, because Saturn has been in Aquarius for a long time, and it's not leaving until next March. So, you know, being able to work on something, and you know really have not just the focus that you need but to this is kind of like where you you shut the doors you go in your office you do whatever and you you know get that paperwork done you get everything together and you get it right and i think it is a major thing to be doing also i want to bring it up today because there is a major aspect happening tomorrow which i think is just really going to help you guys a lot it's the sun which is currently in cancer conjunct mercury which of course would have to be in cancer and it's known as a kazemi and kazemi means in the heart of the sun and when we see this happen when these two come together communication is at its finest and mercury is not retrograde all right Normally, I think it was Mercury retrograde taking a holiday when it happens during the retrograde. But it is not, and it is not a shadow period. And this is a time to really, like, your thoughts, your communication, getting that paperwork done, having those conversations, having Saturn mixed in there with the moon, helping you get things into play for the long term and doing the hard stuff. I just can't help but think that something is trying, really trying, to come together for you. And, you know, you just need to stick with it. And this is a stick with it card. You know, taking the to-do list and really working at it, all right? You may not get everything on the to-do list done today. But if it's organized and you keep plugging away at it, you'd be amazed at the progress you can make. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.